Hey guys, it's Sarah. I want to thank you for joining me as we jump into our fifth step for getting our business set up, which is going to discuss getting our autoresponder properly connected and set up. Now, the reason why I think this is such a one of the most important steps is because of the fact that our autoresponder is basically our collection box. It's where all of the information that we are going to get from the generated leads that we're going to go after this is where it's all collected. This is where it's all stored. This is how they will get all of our campaign automated messages as well as any personal messages we want to send them. So this is very this is very crucial, guys. If we don't get this set up properly, then all the work we do to generate this information will actually be for nothing at all because we will have nowhere for them to go. So what I'm going to show you is the seven simple ways that you can actually set up your autoresponder in no time at all, okay? So, oh, first of all, guys, if you're with me and you haven't yet picked up your autoresponder, that's okay. What I'd like for you to do is actually go to getresponse.com and pick out whichever autoresponder package fits you best financially right now because you can always come and upgrade later. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and actually mark this off the list. And if you need to pause the video to go do this, that's totally fine. Just make sure you get your autoresponder package before you proceed, okay? All right. So these seven steps that I have on my screen right here, I'd actually encourage you to grab your own piece of paper and write these steps down because what I want you to do are two things. I want you to check off these steps as we go along so you can make sure that you're keeping track. And also, I'm only going to show you how to set up one of the campaign sales funnels. What I want you to do is after this video is over, take the steps that you've written down and simply apply them to the remaining funnels you have open in your office, okay? So take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and, and uh, write these steps down. Once you're ready, we'll continue. And then what we need to do is we need to go to, we need to create our from email address. So to start, we need to log into our prosperity team back office, go to our iPass marketing center, and come down here under iPass basic where it says sales funnels. This is what you should see, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is how to set up the Empower Network sales funnel. So what we need to do is we need to open this one and then set up our autoresponder. You should see this right here. This should say get response. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Simply scroll down and pick out, you know, get response. And then click on step two. We need to input our information. Okay, now this right here, this is simply the uh, the back office basically the dashboard of our get response autoresponder so what we need to do is create our from email address and to do this we simply go to our account and go to account details we're going to come over to the left hand side and go to from email addresses now you should see the email that you've already signed up with the autoresponder you should see this email already that's the one that's going to be in the system and that one should say default what we're going to do is we're going to click add a new address and we're going to input the domain associated email we collected in our previous step. So what we need to do is we need to put your name goes here, okay? Now the reason why we say, and we actually very strongly emphasize you use your name and not say your business or blog name is because of the fact that we want people to get to know you first. People that we're gonna be talking to right from the start they really don't want to know about your business they they not not at this beginning step they actually want to get to know you first they want to see if you're trustworthy if you're dependable they want to see if they can have some kind of connection with you so something as simple and and seemingly tiny as simply seeing like your name versus your business name in their inbox is a is a it makes a huge huge difference guys okay because remember our goal is for these people to get to know you so that they'll get comfortable with buying from you later on so uh go ahead and once you put in your name because as you can see i use my full name sarah Lee and big bean you can use your first and last or whatever you choose and then go ahead and just simply type in your domain associated email address and click add what's going to happen now is up here above your personal email address, your domain associated email you just put in should pop up here. And the status will actually say verify. So to verify, you simply need to go into your um, into your personal email, click the verify link GetResponse sends you, and then this status will automatically change to verified. What you need to do after that 
is simply scroll over to the right hand side of your email address and there should be a button that says set as default that pops up. You need to click that because we want our domain associated email address as our default. Now, okay, you don't, ha if you're on this, if you're on this video and you only purchased a domain package or a domain name and you didn't purchase an email to go with it, it's not, it's not a, the end of the world, but I will tell you guys the reason why we all highly recommend you actually get a domain associated email address with your, um, in the previous step, I'm sorry, is because of the fact that we, through all of the experimentation, the trials and errors and the research, we've actually found that by using a domain associated email address, we actually have a much higher and a much better delivery rate with this email because it's less likely to be moved to the spam folder. We've found out that uh, like basic personal free emails, such as my personal one right here, tend to actually have a higher chance of ending up in the spam box of people we're trying to contact. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, exactly why that is. I just know from what I've been taught that the domain associated email address, the delivery rate is much higher and much more successful than that of my personal. So that's what I'm sticking with and that's what I recommend that you do as well. Okay, so we can actually now mark off step one and move on to step two, creating our campaign. So to do this, guys, all we need to do is come back up to our dashboard, and then we're actually gonna scroll over to the right where it says your current campaign, and we're gonna click the drop-down menu to go to create campaign. Okay, now, let's see, we're doing the Empower Networks, okay, we're doing the Empower Network sales funnel. So what I'm gonna recommend that you do is don't just put Okay, because technically you could put the preloaded campaign name because we are going to use this later, but we don't actually want to use that right now. What we want to do for our campaign name is we actually, yeah, see, as you can see, I've tried to come up with a lot of options. <laughs> um, what we want to do is we actually want to create a campaign name for our autoresponder based on the sales funnel we're setting up because we, we, want, we want something more personal, something that actually is connected to us. We don't want a whole bunch of the exact same campaign names floating around within autoresponders, okay? So since we're doing the Empower Network sales funnel, let's try something. Um, we could try maybe uh, the year that it currently is, as well as our initials or name, along with either the name of Empower Network or the initials. So we could probably try something like, um, actually, you know what, since it's about to be 2014, let's try 2014 underscore en actually no let's let's try empower network we'll just do something like that okay you could put your initials here or your full name and then underscore empower network but let's just see if this works okay and it does so you've created a successful campaign so we can actually mark step two off our list now Bink. Okay, step three, disable our confirm opt-in. This one is super, super easy, guys. All we need to do to do this is simply go up here to this, do you see this little pinwheel? Click that for me, and then we're going to come over to the right where it says permissions, and uncheck email and web subscriptions. You'll see the settings automatically update. That lets you know that this step is complete, so we can now actually check that off. And preloaded messages, we need to hover above messages up top, and then go down to preload. Okay, now this is what, you should see something very similar to this right now, and that's okay. We're actually going to kind of ignore this for a second. We need to s scroll back over to our Prosperity Team tab and collect the preloaded campaign name we discussed a moment ago. Copy this. We're going to come back over. Under Source Campaign, we need to choose the campaign we just set up, which was the 2014 Empower Network. And then we need to change our source account. Once we've done this, this is what you should see. We need to actually change the login to campaign and then under campaign name, paste the, the preloaded name we just collected, okay? Once we've done that, we can actually click to login and go ahead and check okay. We do wanna continue. All right, do you see how the source campaign name changed the 2014 Empower Network funnel we just created? That's okay, that's what we actually wanted to do. What we need to do now is click to include our predefined fields and then come over here to the destination campaign and change that to the campaign we just created, the 2014 Empower Network, okay? 
So this is what it should look like now. Is this what it looks like on your screen? If so, then you've followed me correctly. What we need to do now is click copy all. We want to take all these messages and move them over here. So once that's done, and again, we need to make sure our predefined fields are checked to include these, okay? Scroll down, click save, and it's gonna load. If it does it correctly, it should automatically take you to the top of the screen that we were just on. So you should say, you should see preloaded messages at the top of your screen now. So now we can actually move, check step four off our list. See, look at this guys, we're rocking and rolling. Okay, pre changing our predefined fields, what we need to do is go back up top to your current campaign, click the scroll down and go to predefined fields. This is what you should see, okay? You should see Empower Network Username with a box and then Signature with a box. What we need to do is check Empower Network Username and change this to whatever our username was that we signed up with Empower Network, okay? And then check Signature. And for an example, Mike Hobbs actually input his signature of what comes up in his automated messages, which was his name and then underneath his Skype name. Now, you can do the exact same or you can... Um, or you can put any of your social media site names as well. Or you could also do something along the lines of this. Business coach, right? Or even something like success coach. Why? Because that's what you're training to become. You are training to become, well, hopefully, you're using this training because you want to eventually take it and teach other people that you bring in into the team that you create. So you can you know, help other people bring their businesses online, help them expand their businesses and help them reach the success points that they're trying to seek. And what are those called? Those are called business coaches or success coaches. So you can put either one of those or, you know, your social media site names. But you know what, let's stick with success coach. And let's go ahead and click go. You should see predefined field updated. If so, we can mark off step five and move on to step six, creating our web form. So to do that, we need to hover above web forms and go to create new. All right, we need to scroll all the way down, click next step, and then scroll all the way down and click next step again. All right, so once you see this section right here, the JavaScript code, we can actually go ahead and check off step six because that's letting us know we've created our web form and now we need to grab our web form ID and copy it so we can paste it. So you should see webform.js question mark WID equals with a set of numbers. We need to collect this set of numbers, copy them, and then scroll back over here to Prosperity Team Marketing tab. And we're actually underneath Get Response right here, we're going to copy the numbers we just collected and paste them into this box. Once you've done that, you click Save Campaign and once you've clicked save, that means you have officially set up your very first sales campaign funnel within your autoresponder. Congratulations, guys. This is such a huge, huge step. I'm really excited that I was able to help you. Okay, so what I'd like for you to do is, again, take the seven steps that I had you write down before and simply apply them to any of the other remaining sales funnels you have open in your Prosperity Team back office. That will get your entire sales, all of your sales campaigns completely set up within your autoresponder. And you can now rest assured knowing that anything that you promote, any of these capture pages you promote, will actually be able to collect the information that is being input into them in your autoresponder for you to begin to send them messages. So congratulations, guys. Again, huge step. I'm so proud of you. So I want to thank you for joining me on this video. I know this was a huge, huge step, and I'm just very glad that I was able to give you some value and help you out in this step. If you've watched my video and you've and you haven't yet made the decision to come on board, I want to encourage you to do so right now. You can do that two ways by either going to my blog on blogtrainer.com and clicking the join my team tab, or you can simply click the link below the video. Either step will get you started and you'll not only have complete access to myself as well as all my training that I'll provide you, but you'll also have access to the support of our entire team, including the very mentors who are teaching me. So make sure you stay tuned for my upcoming videos because we're going to cover some very valuable information to getting your blog ready for promotion. So it's going to be a very, it's going to be very helpful to you. So you want to make sure you stay tuned. Make today great guys and I'll see you on the next one.